Hey there guys, how's it going? So I did a screen recording of this and I'm doing a voiceover now hoping that it works. I can't figure out how to capture my voice. Anyway, so have you ever wondered what you need to do in order to figure out how to download a LUTs that you see a link from? Maybe you searched YouTube. This is what I found. Searching YouTube, I find a link underneath the actual videos and it says, hey, guess what? In order for you to download this, you got to click on this link. So I, I found this video I was watching. See, it says download the free LUTs here. All right, go ahead and click on that where it says filtergrid.com. So I had a problem when I clicked on this. It opened up the window to this website, but after clicking on this when this link, which you will see here in just a moment, let's see as it's opening up. So as I clicked on it from YouTube, basically I'm clicking on the link here after I scroll down this page to figure out where the link is to download these free lots, but I wasn't able to actually open up the window. I think it's probably because I was already in YouTube. I'm not exactly sure. So basically what I did here is a hold down with your finger where it says download the free cinematic LUTs. Hold it down, you know, one of those long presses with your finger and you're just going to copy the link basically. So if you can copy the link, you can open it up into a different browser like Safari for example and you can paste it. So here I've opened it up. Now basically once you get it opened up into this new window, all you got to do is open it up into LumaFusion. All right, so once you get to this spot, you open up LumaFusion, but you don't actually need to go into LumaFusion. Open up your files folder. Um, there it is, files, and you're going to go into, this is where my files are. Let's see, look for it here, files. Everybody's got that preloaded on their, on their iPad. So you're going to go into user media. It's the bottom one on the right, user media. You're going to have option GarageBand, LumaFusion, if you have it there. Open up LumaFusion. Okay, now user media, bottom right again. Click on user media. All right, and it's gonna open up what you just downloaded. All right, so the first one is the free Cine LUTs Pack V2. So uh, if you click on that one, that first one, basically all you're gonna do is open up that little folder, open up that one again. And this is the, uh, the actual LUT folder. I got several of them that came with the download with this particular one that I did find. So each one of these little file funny looking things is a LUT. So I've already downloaded the first three, the Cine Basic, Bright, and Cold. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the fourth one because I haven't downloaded that one yet. So I'll, it's quite simple. So you just click on it. Cine Drama, F, the FG1. It's gonna open up LumaFusion. Here's LumaFusion and the project I'm working on. Just go over to that second little cube tab and at the very bottom, that's where it's gonna throw it. It's right there at the very bottom. So you see it's the FG Bright one. And I've got the basic, the bright, the cold, drama. They're all this here. They're just gonna stack them all at the bottom. So it's the little second little tab over that little cube. And um, that's where it's gonna put them. So yeah, I click on them all right here. And it's the same basic process. If I wanna go back over to that file folder uh, and click on the next one, it's just gonna do the same thing. So I'll do that real quick to show you. So double tap the home button, click over to that. I clicked on the next one, boom, come back to LumaFusion automatically. Boom, there it is right at the bottom. Go back over to the files folder, click on the next one over, the orange one. Scroll back over to the, the bottom and there it is. So I hope this helps you um, because for me, it was super confusing trying to figure out which was the best way to find a free LUTs and bring it into LumaFusion because I couldn't find anything out there. But hopefully this will kind of answer some questions. Basically, you're going to be using the files folder and LumaFusion simultaneously with the link that you find where you're going to find your LUTs. Uh, if you have any kind of questions, feel free to reach out, let me know, and I'll try to respond as much as I can. Thanks for watching.